Uh, yes, uh, today I'm, I'm joined by uh, media insurgent uh, Merch uh, from Revenge of the Sissies. Uh, I'm told they're very popular on the YouTube and uh, that he's a great admirer and fan of mine. Uh, Merch, why don't you uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself? My name's Merch. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Night, Night Waves Radio's uh, Philip Wave. Philip Wave Radio. And uh, I'm part of a bigger show called uh, Revenge of the Sissies, where uh, we go out and, and we get revenge. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, no, we, we revenge stuff like, uh, you know, we're, we're really big on fighting, like, YouTube and, uh, you know, like, the liberals and, like, you know, the, the gays and the, the Jews. Like, we see what they're doing. We see how they're undermining stuff. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just trying to put them in their place, you know, sound the alarm, make sure people understand uh, what these Jews are up to. You know, you, uh, you seem a little, uh, dumpy, kind of, uh, like you don't quite have your life together, uh, what, what does your room look like? Yeah, I, I actually don't have a room, I, uh, I actually sleep in a walk-in closet. It sounds like you could really use the work of our new sponsor, so let's, let's have a quick word from our sponsor, Dante Nero. Yeah, hey, it's me. Dante Nero. Yeah. The other day I was watching a young man struggle to open a bag of potato chips. Yeah, he was hungry. And I thought to myself, I could do a consultation. I took that young man and I taught him. Because if you teach a man to fish, you know, he still has to get a fishing pole. But if you make a soliloquy and you teach him how to open stuff, he can finally eat because he has stuff in his kitchen. That's why I've decided to create my new tape series. How to open stuff with Dante Nero. Yeah! In this video series, you will find out how to open things like boxes of cereal, bread bags, Twinkies, potato chips, and other basic things that are nourishing to the body. As a father, it's important for me to make sure that my kids are well fed. When I'm not breastfeeding, you know, I like to mash up some peas, and those jars can be Twicky. So if you are struggling to find food, or you have a child on the way, please buy my new series, How to Open Stuff, with Dante Nero. <laughs> uh, why, why don't you tell me, Merch, what, what is your plan? What is your plan for the world? Yeah, um, no, I mean, our plan is, uh, you know, basically we just, we kind of make fun of stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I mean, teasing is fun, but, like, what is your plan? Uh, I, you know, I kind of like to keep it simple and, uh, shoot from the hip. All right, well, I'll, I'll give you an example. I'll tell you what I'm doing. Okay, so, do you know who Yuri Brezbanoff is? No. Who, who is Yuri Brezbanoff? Uh Yuri Brezbanoff was a Russian that was sent here to America to destroy Western civilization, okay? And his aim was to undermine the culture uh, over the course of a generation by causing kids to turn their back on God, authority, the family, and eventually their government. He was eroding the values of Western civilization so that we would destroy ourselves within a generation. Now, with the uptick in, uh, you know, bots and uh, social media, this plan is actually starting to go a little bit faster, so I decided I need to do something about it. So what I did was, I came up with an antidote. Okay, you know, you can't just, like, lead people back to God, because uh, everybody has a different God. I'm trying to connect people with the archetypal hero of Young and Joseph Campbell, and uh, through that mythology, I'm not only connecting people with God, I'm restoring their self-value, and their, their value for themselves, and their family, authority, and society. I, I've created a literal antidote to the chaos it was created Yuri Brezbanov. I interjected it into the culture through useful idiots like Joe Rogan. Uh, so that was my plan. I'm, I'm re-establishing the value of Western society by educating people on their own self-value and teaching them to be moral again. What was, what is your plan? Uh, yeah, well, you know, I, I'm pretty sure it's the Jews. Uh, you know, it's pretty obvious if you, you look at the money, uh, you know, they're making the frogs gay. Uh, it's an original idea we came up with. And uh, they're definitely out to get us the goy. You know you know what I'm saying? So, so you really, you just, 
You think Jews? Jews, that's, that was your final answer? You think they're responsible for all of this? Well, you know, uh, as a failed comedian and uh, former strip club DJ, I, I feel like I have my hand on the pulse of society, and, uh, you know, I'm the one who's here to lead the revolution. Ah, uh, well, I mean, you know, of course you realize that if you're just reacting to things like uh, hot-button issues and hot takes, that you're, you're actually part of the strategy. You, you've co-opted yourself into being part of the narrative that distracts people from actually solving problems. <laughs> okay, well, uh, it's, it's a pretty apparent that you're a buffoon. All right, well, you know what? I'm, I'm going to flag you. I'm going to flag your YouTube channel, just like we did with With Apologies. And uh, I'm, I'm going to dox you, just like we did with uh, that other guy. And uh, I, I'd like you to get the fuck out of my office. You better keep your head on a swivel, all right? You, your head better be spinning faster than my fucking eyeball. You hear me, Jordan Peterson? All right, well, then I'm hanging up on you.